Now we are going to have a look at uh, widening our scope of what we can differentiate even further beyond just different types of function uh, now to combinations of functions. Okay, so have a look at these three functions written in green here and have a think about what these all share. Okay, what you may see is that they are all functions within functions. Okay, I have x squared plus 3, and that is being put to the power of 4. I have a function, 3x, and I'm doing sine of 3x. I have x cubed, and I'm doing the natural log of x cubed, and multiplying it by 2 and subtracting 7. So, uh, how are we going to differentiate these? Well, uh, I'm going to tell you the derivative and then you can see if you can spot the rule just based on a few examples. There are more sophisticated ways of uh, coming across this rule, okay, proving it more rigorously, um, but for this video, uh, this will be just fine. Okay, uh, so um, for this first one, the derivative is 8x times x squared plus 3 cubed. The second one, uh, the derivative would be 3 cos of 3x, 3 times cos of 3x. And for the third one, um, this is going to be a little bit trickier, um, but I'll give you the middle step in my calculation for this one, uh, 2 times 3x squared over x cubed. And you can see that that simplifies to 6 over x. Um, okay, so uh, you may pause it here and have a think about what you can spot, okay, what the rule might be. Okay, so maybe you've spotted that well, we do have a power of 4 and a power of 3, which seems similar to the, the original rule uh, for powers of x. Uh, we see that we have sine and cos, and we see that we have, well, the rule for the natural log was 1 over x, and we do have something over x cubed, at least. So there's, there's something similar going on there as well. So it looks like we have the rule for our outer function still present. Okay, uh, we also spot, um, well, the derivative of the inner function. For this one would be 2x, uh, which you might find within that. Okay, for the, for the derivative of 3x would be 3, which is there. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, which is there. So, the derivative of the inner function is also found. Um, and finally, we do see the original inner function still present um, in the derivative. Um, so those three elements are there. And well, I can tell you that, um, well, this I found by doing 4 times 2x times x squared to the power of 3, which was indeed from doing uh, 4 minus 1. Okay, and what we've got here is 4 times something cubed is just our original outer function rule, okay, and it's being multiplied by the derivative of the inner function as well, and our inner function is still present within this outer function. Uh, that makes sense. And here we have the same thing in the second one. Okay, we have the derivative of the inner function being multiplied by uh, the derivative of the outer function with the inner function still inside. Again, um, in the final one, okay, um, the derivative of 2 times a natural log would be 2 over x, okay, but if I leave the inner function still inside, that would be 2 over x cubed, 2 over x cubed, and just like the, the last two, 
I'm going to multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. So that's why I had 2 times 3x squared on the top. And then I just simplified. Okay, um, let's sum that up. Okay, if I have, if I want to do the derivative of f of g of x, so f being the outer function, so instead of doing f of x or f of a uh, constant, okay, where you just plug in a number, I'm doing f of a whole function, okay, I'm plugging in g of x into a whole other function. So for example, here 3x would be my g of x, and sine of something would be my outer function. Okay, uh, and based on what I just said above, the rule here would be to do the derivative of the inner function, so g dash of x, here times uh, the derivative of the outer function with the original inner function still inside that derivative. Okay? Um, so, in the form of the booklet, you'll see this, um, which I don't find to be as useful. Um, you can make of that what you will. Um, I would say thinking of it as this, or thinking of it in, just, in terms of a description of how to do the chain rule, um, is the best way to go. Uh, and talking of the chain rule, that is the name for this rule for differentiation, for differentiating composite functions, functions within a function, uh, that's going to be called the chain rule. Okay. Um, a couple of examples. Um, so here we have uh, 2x minus x cubed all to the power of 5. So my inner function, okay, I guess I can call that g based on how I used the letters before, and something to the power of 5 is my outer function. Um, so to differentiate, I do the derivative of the inner function, so that's going to be 2 minus 3x squared, times the outer function differentiated, um, so something to the power of 5 would go to 5 times that thing to the power of 4. Um, so 5 times, and what thing do we have? We have an, my inner function still inside. So 5 times that original inner function to the power of 4, and that's done. I could maybe put the 5 here, I could maybe expand these here, but that wouldn't necessarily be simplified. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it like that. How about this here? Um, maybe a bit less obvious that you have a function within a function, but you know how to differentiate e to the power of x. Uh, here, instead of that, I have e to the power of a function, e to the power of 7x minus 1 this time. Okay, so uh, this example isn't quite as easy to spot what's going on because just simply because of the fact that e to the power of x stays the same. Um, so that starts to get a little bit confusing when you use the chain rule. Okay, but I'm going to do the derivative of the inner function, which I called uh, 7x minus 1. So the derivative would be 7 times 3. Well, 3e to the power of x would stay the same. So 7 times 3e to the power of something, and that would be 3e to the power of my original inner function. So my original inner function still remains within um, the derivative of the outer function. Okay, but it just so happens here that uh, that stays the same. Okay, I have differentiated. Um, 3e to the power of x there, um, even though that seems like it stays the same. And that would be an easy step. 
uh, to uh, simplify that to 21e to the power of 7x minus 1. Okay, so uh, this is uh, one that trips up lots of students, the chain rule, okay, especially in terms of spotting when to use it. Okay, uh, students rushing in exams might just see a sign of 3x and just uh, think that the derivative would be cos of 3x, even if they've done the chain rule 100 times. Um, so spotting when to use it is very important. Okay, any function within a function. And, uh, well, uh, I do suggest lots of practice to make sure you master uh, the actual process itself. Okay, this whole derivative of the inner function times the derivative of the outer function with the original inner function still inside that function. Okay.